Kim received mega millions as Vice President Kamala Harris attempts to win her over to support the Democrats in next presidential elections. Businesswoman and reality TV star Kim Kardashian visited the White House on Thursday to meet with Vice President Kamala Harris about criminal justice reform, which Kardashian has long advocated for. Welcome to Star Updates. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date about buzzing updates and hot gists from Kardashians and your favorite celebrities. Harris announced new Small Business Administration regulations that lift some lending restrictions for people with criminal records. Providing these restrictions and reducing and eliminating them will go a long way to ensuring people have a second chance and a chance to succeed, Harris said, isn't it a sign of a civil society when we give people the opportunity to return and give them the support and resources they need? Harris said. Biden has recently emphasized his efforts on cannabis reform and even mentioned it in his State of the Union address last month. In 2022 and 2023, Biden issued and expanded federal clemency proclamations for those convicted of simple marijuana possession. The issue energizes many young voters and voters of color, groups that Biden will need to support to win re-election in November. In an election year, the star power of Kardashian will help shine a light on the dozens of people President Biden has pardoned for nonviolent drug crimes as well as her outspoken support for some of former President Trump's reforms. Kardashian played a key role in praising Trump's work on criminal justice reform during the 2020 campaign. Harris's Thursday afternoon roundtable will feature four of the 16 recipients received clemency from Biden earlier this week. A White House spokesman said all 16 were convicted of nonviolent drug crimes. Harris will also announce the completion of a regulation that would eliminate credit restrictions faced by people with criminal records, the official said. The move is the latest in a series of executive actions taken by the Biden administration on the issue, including pardoning thousands of people convicted of simple marijuana possession. Between the lines, Kardashian never said who she voted for in the 2020 race, but Trump became angry with her after the election. In late 2023, in response to a report in Jonathan Carl's book Tired of Winning, Trump wrote on Truth Social that Kardashian was the most overrated star in the world. Trump also said he helped transfer prisoners, but only when he deserved it, and that was more the case with ex-husband Kanye West than with Kim who probably voted for crooked Joe Biden. Earlier this week on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Kardashian admitted that their relationship had become strained. Listen, I think he really doesn't like me. But I'm fine. I think he's made incredible progress on prison reform, she said. Kardashian urged Trump to pass the First Step Act. Flashback, in his book, Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, writes that Kardashian played a key role in commuting Trump's sentence and says he decided to pardon her. Show mercy, Kushner quoted Trump as saying. Let's hope Alice doesn't go out and kill anyone.